Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. If you recently saw high-profile figures like Bill Gates, Barack Obama, or Joe Biden promising to double your money if you send them Bitcoin, you aren't alone. So did Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas. What's a concern to me is every state agency, every federal agency, uh, depends on Twitter in order to get official statements out. Petronas has called on FDLE to aid the FBI and other law enforcement in an investigation to figure out what went wrong and hopefully help the company prevent future attacks. This is a call to action of Twitter needing to step up its game to ensure that whatever extra security measures need to be put in place are done uh, immediately. Petronas' main concern, hackers manipulating the economy. You've got a state that has $170 billion in our state's retirement account. Uh, if somebody was to manipulate the wrong CEOs or the right CEOs, Twitter accounts to send a message out, that stands our, our value of our state's retirement uh, plummeting. But he also worries an attack on the Twitter account of a supervisor of elections office could have implications for the primary or general election. You know, we've extended, uh, you know, voting hours by an extra hour, but that was never the case. And then that gets out and gets reported. And Petronas has a simple tip for identifying potential scams on social media. You see something that sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.